Hey Warriors, it's Victoria coming back to talk to you some more about biblical healing as a modality that can help you in recovery. And so basically today, I want to talk about the way that I was praying for my recovery and what I've learned since, okay? So back in the day when I was first hit with Epstein-Barr virus and I was so sick and I was homeschooling my kids from bed and, you know, life was just I didn't know what was going on, but I knew that God was someday going to deliver me. But it was a kind of a someday mentality. Actually, after I kept asking him to heal me, I was like, God, when are you going to heal me? God, I keep praying. Why aren't you hearing my prayers? Don't you want me well? And so basically over the years and through my journey to healing, I've learned that that's not what I need to be doing. That is not an effective way to pray. And you know, in James, it talks about the effective prayer of a righteous man accomplishes much. So I think it's really in our favor to learn how to pray effectively. And so what I discovered in my journey was that God had already provided my healing. And so that's, that might sound kind of strange, but it wasn't something I needed to get from God. It's something that I needed to receive and understand it was already done and bring it out of the, the realm of the unseen and into the realm of the seen. And so basically, uh, I remember hearing about a pastor that was so ill and he had asked all of his congregation to pray for him and they'd been doing that for a year and he was doing different, you know, outreaches and he would always ask people to pray for him for his healing. And then he was sick in bed and he was praying and he goes, God, how many more hours when he thought about all the hours that people had prayed for his healing and asked God to heal him, he realized, how many more hours do you want for me? to pray for my healing. So he realized there was some disconnect in that. So what he began to do is study the scripture and realize that Jesus never prayed and asked God to heal people. He healed them all the time, right? That was a huge part of his ministry. He was always willing to heal any that were sick. But what Jesus did was he commanded the sickness to go. He commanded and he spoke to fevers. He spoke to fig trees. He said to speak to your mountain. So he never told us to pray and ask for something that God has already provided. So the Bible says that by his stripes, we are healed. We have been healed. It's past tense. We were healed when Jesus hung on the cross and when he went through all of that suffering. That was for our healing. And so, and coming to understand that, rather than me praying and asking God, when are you going to heal me and why won't you heal me? I began to stand in faith and realize God's already done the work. Somehow I'm not getting it like in the physical yet, and that's okay. I need to learn what I can do physically in the physical realm to support my body. But I also need to begin to speak to the illness and say, CFS, you've, you will come no further. Stop now and get out of my life in the name of Jesus. And that might seem really strange, but Jesus spoke to fig trees. <laughs> so we are called to be like him as Christians. And so, you know, this has been a whole new transformation for me through my journey, learning how to pray effectively, how to command. Actually, again, it's commanding. You're speaking and you're choosing to stand on the promises that God has given in Scripture. So anyway, warriors, I hope that makes sense, and I hope that it'll help you that you will do as Jesus said to do in uh, Mark. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and it believes in his heart but does not doubt, it shall be done for him. So that speak to your mountain today and begin to see the mountain of CFS begin to crumble in your life. Continue to look to God for the direction he wants you to take, for what things you can do in the natural as you learn how to pull from the supernatural realm, you know, the spiritual realm, into the physical realm, the healing that is already yours. Okay, warriors, take care. And remember, life's not over. It's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.
Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe to support my channel and join us over at Facebook at CFS Warriors Academy where you can learn about all the different modalities of healing that helped me in recovery. And these are taught from mentors that helped me that also have recovered from CFS.